Hi there, welcome back. So sometimes if you're not able to get away on that long trip that you planned, just having a day excursion and an overnight somewhere is not a bad alternative. It builds up your stamina and keeps you active and interested. And you can just book the one night, travel from home, look for somewhere where you haven't been or where you haven't been on your bike. Uh, I'm off to the Cotswolds for a little bit of a jolly. I shall stay overnight there and then I shall work my way back tomorrow. So take care, enjoy adventures. I'll catch you on the ride. A bit windy, stuck in the showers. So rolling through Ivanhoe and Trim, really nice. A bit breezy out here today, and a little bit showery. Just over the Thames Bridge. So here we are by the Thames in Oxford. Set yourself a target, disappear off for the day, get an Airbnb, do a bit of camping, and then choose another route going back. Quality. Take care. Enjoy your adventures. today uh, come for a little bit of wind and a bit of rain but it really isn't uh, too bad at all and um, over up the other side of the Thames opposite side of Oxford really good so it's an option for you to uh, take a, a run out I mean today it's about 90k so nothing too mad and it'll be an alternate route going back somewhere tomorrow about 100k but remember you can ride from home uh, and go on a good journey somewhere a little bit different using some of the roads that you wouldn't normally use if you was driving as I've done today including some fields um, and uh, and you'll have a good time and then obviously get your Airbnb which is great value for money which is where I am tonight and uh, and then I'll crack on back tomorrow so take care all the best enjoy adventures <laughs> Rolling through Tame. Hi there, welcome back. So, recently back from a little jolly away to the Cotswolds and to Oxford, which was a good overnight circuit. One of the most important things that I notice when I'm out on any of my adventures or any of my cycling routes is the amount of people I still see cycling with no daylights. And it's so important to have daylights on. Think about the amount of tunnels that you may go through or the amount of bridges you go under or the tree-lined areas that you go under from areas of real brightness. So cars do not see you once you go into these areas or you become very difficult to see, which basically means you could become a statistic. You know, you're at more risk of being in collision with a vehicle going from light to dark or dark to light so for a few pound um, and bearing in mind the amount of money that you're liable to spend on your bike and your kit and your components and upgraded components think about the daylights i mean these are high output led um, daylights high lumens you want anything from about 100 plus which cost anything from about 30 pound up to whatever you want to pay but they're not massively expensive when you think 
of what they could possibly do for you. So really important to have the daylights on. I mean, I use C-Sense, there's lots of others out there on the market. Um, so think about that. Think about putting them daylights on your bike and give yourself a greater degree of chance of being not a statistic. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll do a follow-up video and I'll show you just how important it is to use these daylights. But for the moment, take care. All the best out there. Enjoy adventures, and if you can, think about them daylights. Okay, take care now.